Customer satisfaction upgrade in Zendesk. Oh my God, how long I've been waiting for this. And so have you. This upgrade will finally allow you to measure customer satisfaction from one to five. You can use emojis, you can use text, so you can collect better feedback from your customer. This is an EAP or early access program. It's not available to the general public yet, but your boy got early access and I'm gonna show you exactly what's going to happen. So come on. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen now. So we're going to go and activate it. We're going to go to the four squares, go to admin center. And what you'll immediately know, notice is that you can search for it here. So you can look for customer satisfaction and it got its own section in the customer satisfaction in business rules, in objects and rules. So this is an amazing upgrade. It used to be hidden in the ticket settings somewhere. So it's very weird. Okay, so customer satisfaction, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. And by default, I have these available. So rating scale, what I need to do is, uh, you know, customize this a little bit. So how would you rate the support you receive? Okay, this is good. I can choose the scale range. So I can choose two, which is the previous experience, which is a good or a bad experience. Uh, I can choose three or five. I'm going to go for five. I can scale type for emoji, numerical, or custom text. I'm just going to use emojis because I like emojis and emojis are cute. So let's choose them. This is one, the first one is negative, negative, negative. So three negatives and I'm going to choose, okay, first one I'm going to leave it as it is, very unsatisfied. The next one is going to be meh, didn't enjoy. Now we can obviously customize this to however you want. Uh, third one is going to be still a negative one. This is going to be slightly frowning. I'm going to call this one okay, if you say so. The next one is going to be a positive one. So let's choose an appropriate one, which is going to be smiling face with smiling eyes. And it's going to be, um, it was okay. And the next one is going to be smiley face with hearts in their eyes. And this one is going to be very satisfied lovely support now obviously i'm toying around with this and you can make this as personal as you want i like to be on the cute side but anyway that's just me okay so moving along i have a drop down question so if they choose any of the negative ones they can then select a few reasons why this was a negative experience you might recognize this from the previous experience where customers would choose a negative experience and then they would get to a few reasons why it was a negative one. So that's still available here. And I have this took too long. The issue was not resolved. The information provided was unclear, not helpful. Let's just add another one of ours. Um, the agent was rude. Agent was rude. Let's keep people accountable. Okay. And then an open-ended ended question. This is the headline. So share your thoughts with the support received. That's good. I'm going to save this up. It's going to tell me that this is powered through an automation. So it automatically creates an automation for me. And for those of you who are activating this from a previous one, ignore the previous uh, automation that you've done. I had some trouble getting this to work. So I'm going to show you exactly how I measure this. I'm going to use a trigger. So now I'm going to go to my triggers. I'm going to go up to objects and rules and I'll go to my triggers and you'll see that I have a customer satisfaction here category and I call this testing CSAT EAP and you'll see what I'm doing and you have to do this yourself and be careful with it so you make it work. Now, all of these conditions, you don't have to pay attention to them, but this is how I use them just to make sure that I test this and you immediately see the results instead of using an automation which lasts at least an hour. So ticket status changed to solve. Ticket satisfaction is unoffered, pretty basic. But then I go to action. So notify by user email, the requester. And then the email subject is, can you rate our service? Hello, requester first name. So I use this one. So this is the placeholder that you have to use. Satisfaction.survey underscore section. Now, very important distinction, because this is why it didn't work for me. So let me just pull this up. Here you go. So 
before I was using this one, satisfaction.rating underscore section, which is very similar to the one that actually works and you see it in red, okay? Use this one in red. So let me just, this one, this one, use this one. Use satisfaction.survey underscore section, okay? So coming back, see, this is here and it's working, all good. Now let's do some testing. So we're going to send an email and then we're going to solve the ticket. So let's go open a new one, go to choosing an email, pasting the support email, testing the new CSAT. Woo -hoo. All right, let's send this in. I'm going to go to my views. I'm going to go to unassigned tickets and I will expect to see, here we go. Uh, and I will expect to see the new ticket coming in. Here you go, here it is, testing in new CSAT, open this up. All right, so let's just choose whatever about in here and let's just solve. Let's solve this bad boy to look at the customer experience. So I'm going to set this to solved. Okay, now I'm going to pull up my email address. So here's my email and this is what I received. Can you please rate our service? Request testing the new CSAT, right? This is the subject of my ticket. Share your feedback with us. I'm going to click this up and it's going to open a new window for me. And as you can see my options, so very unsatisfied, meh, didn't enjoy it. Okay, if you say so, it was okay, lovely support. Let's choose this one. All right, so select a reason why this was an, um, not a good experience for you. I'm going to choose the agent was rude, and then I'm going to share some thoughts. Um, the agent was actually, actually lovely, but, you know, we need some content. Submit feedback. All right, so now if I go back to my ticket, I'm going to, uh, yeah, here you go. So my rating is here, the reason is here. I can now see this in my reports in Explore and that's all good. This is a great way for you to measure customer satisfaction. You get more feedback, you get more insight into what you're doing wrong or what you're doing right and you get more feedback into how you can maybe train your, your agents, you can maybe document your product or you can just better your product, you can fix bugs, you can fix delivery issues, whatever it is in your business, and uh, people are going to be happier to do business with you again. Now, I have not mentioned this. Uh, the new customer satisfaction works only in the email channel, web form, and API, okay? So this does not include the messaging channel. Measuring customer satisfaction for messaging is a different ballgame, and you measure it in a different place. Now, if you don't know what messaging is, I'm going to link a video up top with how you can think about messaging and how you can use it. So, wait, is there anything else? Oh yeah, you know, running a YouTube channel is difficult because you guys come here, you learn something and then you go away for a while. So now, as long as we have you, please like and subscribe. It would be very helpful and we'd be really grateful, guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and another thing, as I'm not going away, I have one more thing. Don't you find it odd that Zenus never sponsored any of these videos and also refuses to do so? Anyway, it's just, I needed to vent, so there you have it. Um, just, you know, smash the like button. At least you guys can help me. So thanks so much. Bye.